in a world of shiny helmets, spandex jumpsuits, and strange monsters, these heroes force feed you a bowl of awesome that is the Tokudan Podcast. Join Carl and Rob as they haphazardly welcome you to the exciting genre of Tokusatsu. Now, open wide. Hello, friends. How happy are we holidays. doing? Happy, happy fucking Toku holidays, I guess. Um, yeah, we decided. Check this shit. Oh, we're wearing our Christmas sweaters. Mine lights up. I don't know about you. No, nah, mine, mine just says "Joy to the fucking realms." Game of Thrones holiday sweater. <laughs> All right, you win. Yeah, mine just it just up. says "Joy to the realms." <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, this will, I, I doubt we'll probably do an episode next week because it's Christmas. It'll be fucking Christmas depends. already. Depends how much eggnog we have. Yeah, it sure. depends on how much socializing I do throughout the day, to be <laughs> honest with you. Because that shit gets exhausting very quickly. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Talk yeah. It On. Today we're going to talk about. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it, man. Yeah, it fucking Maybe happens. I hit a wall and then I just I sink. And you guys didn't see I hit it. If you guys, you know, if, if you guys heard us or like met us at uh nycc um it was happening pretty quick <laughs> but luckily we had a room i could hide in <laughs> like it, it was like it, and it was such a blur because we we met a few people like straight up who were in costume mm-hmm. don't, doing the cosplay and it, it was like surreal because i'm like holy shit we actually get to meet these people okay how do we do this where i don't freak out yeah. okay let's just <laughs> let's do it in doses <laughs> so, yeah I, uh, I have a very small social meter, and luckily, yeah. having a, a monitor in front of me and sitting in a room alone usually helps with that. So, yeah, yeah. pretty great, pretty great. Um, I usually I usually try to be the buffer for you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> you know I, uh, I I find myself to be very sociable, but there is a a limit to that as a extroverted introvert that goes like, real hard when that switch flips <laughs> like you know how understanding would the world be if we all had like that little sims icon above mm-hmm. us where it just I'll let everybody know yep. social meters up guys i yep. gotta go just, well, no, like no. afk if i could just have an afk <laughs> float above my head that'd be fucking great like don't talk to but, me i'm not here it's cool <laughs> 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 sorry guys sometimes i'm gonna have a cough i i have i call whatever might be going around so bear with me um He's but, a disgusting vile right. human oh Who god grace papa nurgle <laughs> well to be fair i work at a disgusting gross college so true. it's just true everywhere everywhere these kids are so nasty but anyway <laughs> so uh but what i was what we were talking about before we started was mm-hmm. um you know uh grinding in rpgs and yep. shit like that and how we're using a bunch of the well-known I don't know what to call them. Not even cheats. Just no. I don't know. The game spots. breaking. That's not yeah. even game breaking. Like they're just there. It's the optimal ways to like grind. Yeah. We were talking specifically okay. with Elden Ring. If you guys know the genocide hill, where you literally yeah. just you throw a wave hill. of <laughs> whatever bullshit down the hill, and you just get tons and tons of XP. It's just broken, but it's yeah. just a way to become broken. Let me say it like that. Yep. So we all we were talking about how there's one in Digimon, and I didn't know about mm-hmm. that. I've never really played it like you did, but. Yeah. It got me thinking about you know other RPGs and shit that that I've done that too, mm-hmm. with um, one in specific was um, uh, uh, Final Fantasy X. Okay. I uh, inside Sin mm-hmm. that area with all the strongest monsters. Yes. Yeah. It's obviously towards the end of the game, but you could yeah. you know I just I can't I can't even tell you how I can tell you actually now I remember I had three hundred hours in that game. Nice. Before I completely stop playing, yep. I can't tell you how many of conscious because this is kind of like a thing with me. I'll brag about my hours, but many of them are just me like this in front of the screen. So yep. uh, it happens. But anyway, yep. the reason why I'm, I'm this is coming to me is yeah, I did that. But the one thing I took away from Final Fantasy X forever and mm-hmm. always, and I know it happens to me a lot, and I'm wondering if it happens to you guys. The battle theme mm-hmm. plays in my head like hauntingly you know what i mean like 
whenever I hear it, it's traumatizing. Yeah. It's not like a good thing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was wondering, is that Digimon for you? Do they have a battle theme that just sends a shiver down your spine every time? Um, no, but there's like sound effects in video games that I'll just hear. And it's like, I'll, I'll equate like similar noises to them. Um, okay. Like, for example, the Final Fantasy VII, um, like that bullshit, that fucking like, <laughs> like it's basically the first of the Midgar reactor, you know, the first level yeah, of the yeah. whole fucking game. Like I'll hear yeah. that sometimes and, just, and it just triggers the whole fucking spiral. Um, it's, and it'll be like it's... things that I don't even hear really like, I don't hear that. It just, it's like a similar tone and like beat to it to where it'll just trigger like the the pupils dilate kind of thing there's not really anything that's like scarring except maybe i'll hear like okay. one of the the horns and i'll think of like that from like mega man x four and five <laughs> no other options. listen if, if of all the things that that come to my head about mega man it's the x4 opening song yes the, that intro that thing pops in my head and every time it's a fucking rush like anytime it's just i'm reminded of i'm like oh fuck yeah that anytime i think of x4 i think of a little ditty that you can spend points to play in the chat so you know <laughs> that's what i think of in x4 what are we fighting for <laughs> Stay with me, big brother, or something yeah. like that, right? <laughs> 1988. What's up, dude? What's up, Alex? With the up, or the the follow, appreciate you, dude. What's up, bro, bro? Um, thanks for watching, homie. Yeah, we were just we were just talking about memories of X4, and yeah, I, I know and um, speaking of that, and this is the last I'll speak on it because again, we get tangents like this. Um, we do. This is what we do. The Digimon stuff. had a, an area similar to Final Fantasy X, where it was kind of like the second to last chapter. You could just go on top of this one building where you fought a really strong boss. Um, yeah. And you uh, it, it, you fought Examon, which is this big dragon that's themed after like King Arthur's dragon and all this bullshit. Hold on. Examon. I gotta see this. E X A M O N. You'll you'll notice why I like this thing. Um, oh, you wow. fight that thing. Oof. Yeah, and what? if you go to the top, like right before you get there, there's a bunch of spots you can run around and fight like really strong Digimon. Um, that's where I did this a lot of my so grinding. Cool. It's a fucking that's dragon. That's not a dragon. No, that's a that's dragon. That's not a dragon. So when this was created, you have to remember this was created in the '90s, right? When, like a couple kilobytes was a lot of data to them so this True, dude fair. this dude is so big he takes up one gigabyte of data in the 90s imagine a gigabyte oh wow yeah i mean i remember when like, you say gigabyte. playstation 2 memory cards were 8 and 16 megabytes this dude is one gig like that's nothing now but you need to understand when this this whole franchise was made that shit would like crash a, a fucking military computer that's how um, crazy it okay. is so how do they beat this thing? Uh, you you fucking boop it with your big dumb Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you yeah. have you have to have a bigger. I Digimon. think I Got had it. one as well, so I just use that to fight it. So it's fine. Um, I honestly don't remember. It's oh. been a minute now. That was in the first game. Um, its ultimate attack is called Pendragon's Glory. That's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It has one, okay. so it has like a cannon it can fire, and then it also just has like this. It does this like hell dive from fucking the stratosphere. <laughs> so, yeah. Because of course it does. Because of because course it fucking does. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's Catch that was. Me. It was very similar. It was you know, it's a very classic RPG, JRPG, um, where you build yeah. a team, you have three, and there's like turn-based battles, all that kind of stuff. That's really why I liked it. But I grind the fuck yes. out of that game. <laughs> it's just you know that okay here here's my i got your brother R roll with me here yeah so the reason i bring that up is because you know i get those spine tingles when i hear the theme song yep. of you know the, the crash of the glass from final fantasy 10 mm -hmm. and it just reminds me of my baby brother having that uh final fantasy tactics game in front of him and passing out the same way and hearing that chime mm -hmm. so that same spine tingle was what i got with the sh with what we're going to cover today's musical intro Okay. I don't know if you remember it. Not really. I, there were, it was very 90s, yeah. but we'll get there. But because of that, it threw me back to all those horrible, trashy, horror uh, 90s campy B-movies. And yeah. it, I got to admit that that trauma locked me into this movie. Okay. <laughs> like, well, what fucking movie are we talking about, by the way? We are talking about a little ditty that came out in the 90s. The boom in 90s, guys. 1991. Zayr oh my god we're talking about Zayrum you have a copy of it I have 
the whole fucking franchise. My man, yo. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Cuz now we need to talk about it yeah. cuz I I didn't know about this at all. You dropped it on me what 3 days ago? 3 days like ago or and so like, and I was like, "Hey, we've been kind of I've been holding this one in my back pocket." So Zayram okay. is a movie directed by a personal favorite of the podcast, Keita Amamiya. Just, a little bit of a, little a big bit. deal here. If you guys have listened for any amount, we did the review on Hakaider. This dude, we love this fucking dude. He just has a whole style right. to him. He has an energy to him. This is the second movie he ever directed. This is second, a, that's right. Yes, this is that's the right. second yeah. movie he ever directed. It's called Zeram or Zeramu. Um, and it came out in 1991. And yes, I bought. That's wild. I didn't know Don't you had ignore, that. Don't ignore like, that noise. That was nothing. Don't. No, no, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, Should I okay. bought all three of these things months and months ago. So I have Zeram one, two, and then the prequel anime, OVA technically. Um, that was also my near fucking art book that just crashed under the floor. So you guys can ignore that. Oh God. Oh, yeah. God. Um, but <laughs> I have all three Sorry. of them. I've been kind of holding this in my back pocket, um, and I was just like, "Fuck it, let's do it." Because I had never seen this okay. movie. And I was like, I'm tired of not seeing this movie, even though I've owned it for I, months now. Um, I I can't believe that we waited this long then. Yeah. Because holy shit. Yeah. This. Okay. So other than the the grinding soundtrack, I I love it. I love this movie. Okay. Um. I, I, Hell yeah. Well, let's break down the the plot. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Because the plot is very easy to follow. Yes. But it's. It involves a lot of hijinks where it's very much like you're face palming at the ridiculousness yeah. of this movie. There's a lot of uh, so. sci fi MacGuffins, if you will, in this movie. Um, <laughs> and it's like, I also thought this movie was going to be something completely fucking different, to be honest with you. Also, yep. Alex with a subscription, appreciate you, dude. Um, Thank you, brother. I, this brother. movie, I are so. I've seen Iria, our main character. She's she's this badass in this cool suit of armor kind of thing, like a bio suit, exo suit kind yeah. of thing going on. Yeah. Um, and I always thought just looking at Zayram, our main villain, who is front and center. He's this dude in this. He's got a really cool design, by the way. Um, oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me drop a couple of bits in there. Yeah. Like, I want to finish this thought because I'm going to get sidetracked by the design. <laughs> um, I saw this movie and I thought it was like, oh, cool, sci-fi, planet, aliens, all this kind of shit. No, this is aliens coming to Earth and we got a bounty hunter who's like, I got to capture that fucking thing. And yeah. they go to this place called The Zone, which is like an artificial uh, dimension that they can go into and all this other sci-fi shit that it has a timer on it and she gets locked out because earth technology is trash and, and yeah. just hijinks and shenanigans to the point where like you said it's kind of face palmy especially towards the end because the same thing happens like four times in a row exactly it's all wild right. <laughs> all right so uh, the, while i was watching this i'm like yo this is exactly what would happen if carl and i were trapped in a toku situation and no drivers <laughs> like no drivers if, whatsoever if, if we if we were the ads in the tv show this is how it would break down for us you know what i mean yep so like i'm wondering oh one second go ahead bro take over for a sec yep um so this is i'm gonna pull up the screen here so you guys can see it um the zerom this is iria here this is our main character and zerom is back here she is a bounty hunter like i said um and she works with her computer bob and bob is this kind of smart ass uh logical thinking he's data he's data from star trek <laughs> bob listen bob yeah. is the best character in this whole thing because i think all right so like you i think i watched the dub right yes i did watch the dub. i, yes. I wish i would have watched the the original japanese because the cl i have a clip here to show you and it's that's so she's so badass bro like yeah she's dope as hell listen idia the main character is the bounty hunter like you explained her mm -hmm. backup is bob but idia herself could have she she could have soloed this movie yeah and i would have been so happy yeah like they threw in a bunch of plot devices in there yeah. to distract from the fact how badass she is yeah like, legit. <laughs> like, um so a little little backstory on kind of the history I have with this movie. Um, you know of my Project Station. It's a comic book that I was writing for many, many years. Um, yes. I found Iria some years into that, like a long time after God knows what fucking 
retool I did of the main character. Um, and I found her suit when I was looking at more of like an exosuit kind of thing style to it. And uh, I found yeah, yeah, the Iria yeah. suit. And I was always super fascinated by it. And it wasn't until like I bought the DVDs and everything, the Blu-rays, um, that I really like knew what this character was. And it's it's cool to see like it's been probably five years since I discovered this fucking character, but like I've seen this character in the anime and all the depictions and things like that. I just never actually sat down and watched the fucking movie. Um, and I was a huge fan of her design and just the energy she always had, whether it was clips I would see or like pictures. Um, she's very much like she has almost like the Mando personality where she's very straight laced, kind of get the job done, but she's also yeah. kind of a smart ass in the dub. Um, and I don't know if she is in the sub, like the original Japanese, but she's kind of a smart ass on the dub, which is kind of cool too. Um, because right. I'm, I'm she has a I reputation of just saying, uh, fuck it, shoot it bigger. Just shoot the bigger yeah. weapon. That's kind of her Listen. rep. <laughs> and Bob so, is like, can we not fucking do that this time, please? Just one time. Can we not just shoot the big <laughs> dumb gun? But she's like, but I don't care about the paperwork. He's like, he's all like, Bob's like, okay, but every step we take here is like more work for us down the road. But is it you know that, right? <laughs> so, but a, a, a back thing here. Mm -hmm. Amamiya, when he when he was creating this, he he thought about calling it Iria. He thought about naming it after. Yes, uh, but the, the actual anime is called uh, Iria Zeramni Animation. Yeah. So the the reason why he decided to go against that was because he was he wanted to embrace the boom that was going on at the time with the kaiju movies that mm -hmm. were coming back yeah uh uh common writer and all that stuff was starting to wind down in the 90s you know we didn't have any common writer for a nope, bit but that and was then, a peak heisei godzilla coming back it was 1984 till around 1995 um right. that was when heisei godzilla was kind of at its peak and doing its thing and biolanti and all this kind of stuff biolanti was 93 i think um you know space godzilla all that kind of stuff this was 91 yeah. So that's why he decided just to call it Zeram, so that mm -hmm. it would be more of like a, a you know, a David versus Goliath thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like a like you, you, it was the monster that was like the problem. And boy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you knew the movie he directed before this, but I'm sure it um, did not, you know, do the same. <laughs> uh, the movie he directed before this was called Mirai Ninja. And uh, I don't think it did very well, to be honest with you. Mirai Ninja. Mirai Ninja. It's okay. also called Cyber Ninja. They made a video game off it on the NES. Um, it has an, also a really long name, and I don't remember what it is. I was trying to find it, but it's like Mirai Ninja and the Sword of the Flaming Fortress or some bullshit like that. Some big, long anime title. Um, so it, <laughs> the fact that he went like Zeram is very understandable, considering his first outing probably was not... I see. The best. So it was kind of like it was kind of like lesson learned type of thing rather yeah. than hey let me jump uh, well it works either way yeah. but to to go more in with the the main actress this was her first action role she oh. she was not a professional action star yeah and yo she she as and in every scene that she's physically in because she has a power suit but it's more like a, and I'm trying to wait for the the clip to load but you'll see that it's more like a like you were saying an exosuit yeah it's still her like and it's not often that you that they do cutaways and clever mm -hmm. cuts like she's doing the fighting sequences with the kaiju she's yep. like she's a badass in this movie like i'm fully like blown away that i never heard of her because yep. i don't know if she did anything else i know she did the sequel right uh yes she is in the sequel um it is the same characters and everything uh and zayram even shows up again somehow <laughs> course, don't know how but called, hey, does well, it's called zayram 2 imagine yeah. he just like he just shows up at the end like hi <laughs> yeah. her name is yuko moriyama uh let me see if i can pull something up on her yuko moriyama yuko moriyama i wouldn't be surprised if she's in like a sentai or some shit too <laughs> i mean it's how he starts man oh she hey, was in kunoichi lady ninja stop yeah she was in lady ninja uh, nope, in Justin Zayram and Zayram 2 and then some other random stuff. Uh, I was trying to see if she was in anything else, Toku. But that oh. looks like it's about it. She's also in Sweet Home and After the Rain. Uh, Moon Over Tau. I don't know what any of these are. But yeah, she's in Zayram 2. It's still Iridia. It's the same actress. Nice, nice. Uh, I think that clip loaded and that's the first henshin sequence. It's on the Discord. Um, it's It's so much more badass in Japanese, though. <laughs> We got a bot. Yeah, we got a bot. Yeah. 
It's all good. Took care of that shit. I watched, like I said, I watched it in English, and I'm watching it these clips in Japanese, and I'm like, yeah, I will watch it again to see what the vibe is. Yeah, because uh, I'm not even to take away from the English dub, because I I looked into that too, and the one who did Idia's dub went on to do Gata oh Gataman and Anja Woman tying it back to our Digimon beginning bro. Oh fuck, she was the voice for them? Oh she shit. was Anjuman and Gataman's voice. Fuck. Yo, Yo transitions Yo. without knowing their transitions. <laughs> fuck <laughs> That's how we do it, baby. This is how we do it. Yo, that's what's up. <laughs> I was like, like wait, I remember that. Holy shit. Oh, so my yeah. God. So she, she went on to do that. So she's actually pretty big in the English dub that's circuit, what's up so, that's what's up yeah, yeah. that's um, cool um yeah no iria iria is an interesting character right like like i said she's very much of the mindset of just blow the fuck up and worry about it later kind of thing because she's yeah. very much like i'm gonna get the job done i don't really care about the bureaucracy part and like bob being a computer support of some kind um he's some kind of ai intelligent thing um he's kind of yeah. like hey maybe maybe don't do that because that's how we get in deep shit and that's kind of how we found ourselves in this situation to begin with because they're both uh well i shouldn't say both she and you know him being a part of her oh. kit um they yeah. are both in like terrible debt apparently and that's why they're trying to take this big this big bounty yeah. for this zayram uh character that they're trying to collect on and essentially they've come to earth because that it's a next projected landing site and she's setting up these big fields to try and uh it's it they're setting up the zone to oh, so they, up, they set up a, a fake katakura town so that mm -hmm. he doesn't know where he's at yep. so that they can trap his ass with yep. these fucking space crystals what is it carbonite want not yeah, it's, carbonite. it's essentially okay, carbonite, carbonite crystals yeah yeah, it's carbonate. So she 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 wants to set up a trap so she can capture him easily alive because he's worth more. Yeah. But Classic apparently Zayram is yeah Zayram is and I think we quote this from our own text. Uh, Broly. Uh, Terminator, Terminator Broly. Broly. <laughs> Terminator Broly. This dude, <laughs> this dude walks through every attack, yeah. like every explosion. Nothing is stopping him, and he really is just meandering. You know what I yeah. mean? Like he obviously will get to you, but he's not in a rush. No, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's basically the movie. It follows, but if you added like super Toku anime flair to it, um, and, and so and the, the Zayram is an artificial like weapon, intelligent type thing. Um, yeah, so it's, it's like some, some kind of, of illegal bio weapon. Yeah, yeah they, they, and so he's it, like the last one. Yeah, and it opens up with this thing just like murdering its way through a hallway, and we get this creepy face that we'll find out is like on its hat, but it has this creepy little like uh, almost like a Hanya face, but without the teeth. Um, like a, a I don't know how to describe it. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I have a couple. Yeah, so I'll drop some images. So the whole thing is is weird because they go the whole movie telling you that Zayram is a problem. Zayram mm -hmm. is, you know, this this and the design is fucking powerful radical. thing. Like, yeah, Mamiya didn't pull any punches with these. No. So, so this is Zayram. I just pulled it up it for everyone at home. It, this is yeah, so cool. <laughs> so th that's that's the thing that's chasing them down the whole yeah, movie. The whole and fucking the, what movie. What they're trying to fight and how they set up traps that he just walks right through. Mm -hmm. Literally, he he gets trapped in like this spike thing that she's like all elaborate with, and then he does this. Oh my god, I forgot about the summoning things. He summons these. Putties, Mutant essentially. Putty things that, yeah. that are, like, lackeys. So while he's trapped in this, he distracts her with one of these, like, putty things, and she's, like, battling it the whole time, and he just <laughs> bends the bars yep. to escape this thing. He's yep. like, okay, enough like, with Like, it doesn't that, talk, it that. doesn't do anything. It literally, and the first, <laughs> like, 45 minutes this thing is on screen, it's only lit from behind, so you only see the silhouette. And it's yeah. the coolest shit ever. So it has this bar. If you guys are looking at the screen right now, it has this bar of light that it's its eyes. And then it's just always lit from behind. So it has this silhouette. If you see the hat and the shoulders and you just see this bar light and it's so <laughs> I don't even it's know, creepy. like it's creepy and cool. All this. And I was fascinated by the whole situation. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but this is cool as shit. 
And I'm telling you, it's creepy because he's like relentless. He's yeah. relentless. She's literally shooting her her blaster at him, so she's blasting him, right? She's, and she she's started blasting. blasting. Him. <laughs> and she, she keeps blasting him, and then Bob is like, "Hey, he has a shield just like you." And she goes, "Okay, I'll just switch to grenades." Yeah. So she starts lobbing grenades just at him, and they're lobbing him <laughs> choo, 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 all all over the place, and he's just like, "Are you?" done like we have i have stuff to do <laughs> yeah. it's like i have these things to do and you find out those things are just eat organic matter with its weird baby face on its head <laughs> so i've i've seen i met i see how we've managed to talk about this movie without the two other characters yes because it's two different movies when you interject them. yes like Every time, every scene they're in is one to extend the duration of the movie yes. and to show you what idiots like us would yeah. do in a situation yeah. like that. Be utterly helpless and utterly useless yeah. and fuck up every plan. But also, um, so these two characters work it for the electrical company, I believe is what I, I gathered because they knew about the power lines and things. Um, yeah. yeah. And so essentially imagine if the two of us were fumbled into this cool ass ridiculous situation, but had zero of the electrical know-how. That's right. essentially so these, what would happen. These guys are, are doing a late shift and they get a call that there's an illegal tap into the circuit line. Mm -hmm. So they end up breaking into uh, Edia's hideaway. And as they're looking around trying to see if they can leave a citation yep. for this person, they, she comes back and they're like, hey, you're the late. Oh, and mind you, mind you, one of the guys is like a total fucking me in the future if I ever become lonely again and single. Yep. Yep. He's, he's like he's, he's a just disgusting miserable. ledger. <laughs> he's just he's a miserable miser, but he's he's got a heart of gold. So he's, he he wants to, he, well he wanted to bring her the apple so he could touch her butt. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's 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 all for the greater good. <laughs> it's no. For the greater good. <laughs> so she EDS getting the computer parts in in the beginning. She's getting these parts to try to repair a, a, a piece of equipment. She's leaving the shop. He sees her drop an apple. He goes after her and mind you, they're wearing super nineties colorful clothes. Yes. So it's like well loud like revise louder you yeah. know what i mean yeah the 90s were a time so yeah and, and it was the thing so don't don't judge us but anyway so so anyway it, it all turns out like he's he's a, a divorcee with he, he works with the the other dude whose name is um, it was kamiya and uh toke yeah or something like that Tepe, 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 yeah, Tepe. So yeah, Kami and Tepe are the just two idiots that that get yeah. pulled into Tweedle the whole B thing. and Tweedle Dumb. <laughs> pretty much it. But legitimately, they're both equally useless. They get, yeah. they have like moments where they're. I think they hit Zayron with a truck. Yes. They're firing of uh, uh, guns at him that that are useless. They they actually trap him once in a trap and yeah. then he's out. You know, it's it's just like everything that they they do is to slow down the story. And then Edia yeah. kind of develops like a, a bond with them because she saves them. Yeah. And and it ends up like because they get pulled into fake Karakura town eventually that shit's gonna break down and she gets locked out of there so she has to like use them to lure Zayram into the traps that she preset yeah. and they keep fucking it up every time yeah. <laughs> what's going on Lord Kobe um, yeah it's so they both. are they <laughs> are literally there to uh, kind of ground everyone into what's going the fuck on. Um, they're your character to realize, like, so that they can explain some things and so that Iria can explain what the fuck's going on. And I, they I, are, yeah. They are literally, like you said, there to get in the way and, like, make, they're literally the ones who foil her entire plan. They had this whole thing set up where, like, coordinates were perfectly set, you know, to capture Zayram and then just, like, before it even knew what was going on, they would capture it, crystallize right. it, carbonite that shit, take it to wherever they gotta go, collect their money, bada bing, bada boom, and then Kamiya and Tepe come in trying to give their citation and they blow it all uh, because they yeah. step into the teleporter and go into the zone. And that's when she manages to ensue. capture him. Yeah, she does manage to capture him in the carbonite shit. Yeah. And then Kamiya throws something at Tepe and he misses and breaks the damn device and it lets him out. And and this when you find out this is after she dons the suit. So she dons yeah. a suit and manages to, you know, eventually get the better of of uh Zayram. But that's mm -hmm. when you find out that Zayram is not this biological thing. He's not the whole thing. He's only that facey bit on us on a floating helmet thing uh so yeah you find that out towards the end and he, he like the rest of the movie he's straight up a terminator um yeah 
all these things they so, wrote the supporting characters about. Like, they're written well. It's just, like, we we just don't want to underplay the fact that they're literally there to, like, fumble around and ruin Iria's plan. <laughs> this, movie's, this movie is two hours long. Yeah. It's a 30-minute plot in a two-hour time But stretch, it's an okay? entertaining two hours, I should say that. I, yes, I genuinely really enjoyed this movie. Listen, these guys, although they're idiots and although they do extend the time, they are fun. They're yes. fun to see because it's not like... They're not malicious. They're just literally no. They're literally like, can I just get the fuck out of here, please? Um, because <laughs> you find out Zayram is a a being that consumes organic matter, so it's targeting oh, yeah. these two specifically, and that's kind of how they keep getting tied into this. It's walking towards them for two hours, and Iria is trying to capture it while also like palming them out of the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like thing. Trying to shield them because they're such. Okay, listen, Bob has my favorite line. And it really establishes how I felt about them throughout this whole movie. Okay. I'm going to try to drop it in the Discord. If it works, awesome. If not, I'll just tell you. We but, are talking about the movie Zayram from 1991 by Keita Amamiya. And it's very Amamiya the entire time. Very Amamiya, um, especially the design. So this is an original concept by Amamiya, too. Um, the OVA was produced by him. It wasn't directed, but it was produced by him, and the sequel was as well. This is his own story. This wasn't based on some kind of anime or manga beforehand. Um, Keita Amamiya came up with this solely on his own. And uh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell fucking yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the kaiju designs are long. Even the putty things, they have, like, your yeah. typical bulbous type of figure but even that looks gross everything looks so gross in this movie yep. and which is fine because yes zayram is after those two and you find out he does take biological matter yeah and, and that's also how he creates the putty things he just kind of like spits the biomatter out and it becomes these like gross fucking toxic yeah. avenger type monsters <laughs> at one point and i, I don't want to put the whole clip up because that shit is gross but there's a point where he takes a chunk out of Kamiya's arm yes right and it's implied that something's going to happen to it. And there's there's no dialogue in this sequence, guys. There's no dialogue, which is which makes it even creepier. But he spits out another one of the seed thingies that you saw him create a putty thing from. Yep. Spits it on the ground, and it hatches. And it turns into, I just dropped it in the Discord, a, a, a quarter of a human? Uh, yeah, a solid arm. quarter. Yep. It looks like it looks like just it's this creepy unfinished protoplasmic. Yep. It form didn't have enough man. time in the incubator. That's what that's what's going right. on here. So he's he's worming and squirming for like it the sequence takes like a good two, three minutes. Yep. It's birthing and growing and then it stops growing and then it starts writhing. Yep. And then Zayram's just looking at it like, okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> Squish. Yeah. And he crushes it. He just crushes it he with his boot. Crushed it. it is there's a moment where it spits some green. Ah, oh, I lost it right there, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> it spits up this green nastiness. It's so crazy. Oh. Like clearly, it takes the the biological DNA structure, or whatever, and creates these putty things. Uses as a weapon, like we said, the bio weapon. Um, and then this gross. Let me pull up the gross tongue head thing. Um, this, ooh, this is a good picture from the anime. This is really, really. Just, it's very phallic. <laughs> it's oh. Oh, it's veiny. It's veiny, and it's got oh, teeth. It's veiny. Yeah, yeah, it's that's veiny I, and it's yeah. got teeth. It is mm -hmm. very phallic. It comes out of the head and can kind of like swoop around and do this like snake head thing. So that's how it. I think that's also like, why he's trapped in the bars as well. Uh, he kind of like snakes it out and grabs Camille's arm and then like takes a chunk out of it. Um, something like that. Yeah, something like I mean that, it's yeah. it's very tremors. If you remember tremors, the yes. fucking graboids. That's what that is. Yes. Oh god, very much. Well, with, um, a, with a face on it. With a, <laughs> with a, creepy... With a creepy face. <laughs> And there's a there's a there's an image that's been haunting me, and I'm gonna drop it here. I'm gonna I'm gonna, gonna drop this. Here. I'm gonna put this up on the screen for everyone who can just okay. have this burned into their face. You ready? This has been haunting me since I found it researching this damn movie. This face, I'm putting it in the Discord. Yeah, we're actually talking about uh you know uh, Lord Kobe's talking about the anime. We are talking about the original movie that happened. Yes. That caused the, the anime. First movie. Um, so the anime is a prequel to this movie, actually. Which is interesting because she is such Ooh. a badass owner. She always was that way. Yo, this face is burned into my head now. <laughs> mm, I can't. Mm, uh, how shall I? I'm, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> like, how bad you going to get it? You won't get it. I'm going to eat you real good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave that up Fuck there for everyone. Face, I'm going to leave that up for the remainder of the episode. Um, Thanks. Yep. Ugh. Just, just for yeah. you guys. But yeah, you find out, you know, as they de uh, they do, 
you know more and more damage to this thing eventually it literally crawls out of the body that it's in it becomes this crazy uh it almost nightmare uh you know no, nightmare it, it is a nightmare so and hold on i have the other yeah you have the other forms great yeah. and then so they destroy that form. version and it becomes yeah. uh, a flying saucer hat and then they destroy so that it, version and it becomes, it becomes a gross a xenomorph it, yeah, becomes, it becomes a xenomorph, a xenomorph thing. i have no other at this like the second to last phase it's it's un unperfect cell is yeah. is this xenomorph obvious knockoff but it has the creepy face dude the yeah. face is just the worst so this is the, uh, the, morphs... the gross skeleton thing that it turns into that is very much just a uh, cg it's monster still alive as it's a skeleton still fucking alive dude and it's still a problem too that's the thing yeah. so she eventually oh, yeah. just try and stop this. this thing essentially builds a bfg and uh fires game. it and yeah. it, you know it takes this thing out and it's not quite dead because <laughs> the so, saucer's still it, coming also yeah, lord kobe doing... with the follow i appreciate you what's up bro i have hold on there we go see if it loads uh there's a plot point where she's locked out of the 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 the, the fake Karakura town, and mm -hmm. she's relying on them to assemble the traps. Right? I think I mentioned that. But there's also a point where she's like, "Listen, I gotta use the gun. You gotta let me use the gun." And he's like, "Don't use the gun." Yep. Bob's like, "Don't use the damn gun." And she's like, "I'm sending the gun in," and it ends up like in Bumblefuck. But anyway, yep. it's a At whole point thing zero, where, wherever the hell that is. <laughs> yeah, where it's a whole thing where Tepe is like on a mission to go get this mm -hmm. case that this thing is in, and even at the pinnacle of the moment, they're like, "Oh yeah." that case is still out there somewhere we gotta go get it yeah. you know what i mean like this whole thing is going down and and I, I think i found the clip where so they finally put they they frankenstein this gun together which is like this elaborate ass thing and they bumble it between each other trying to get it yeah. to Ilya so that she well, can they shoot don't even thing. build it they literally like they open this case thinking it's just gonna yeah. be there and they're like it's in fucking pieces what do we do with this and <laughs> like, we're not we talking doing? like you know there's a barrel and a handle and we're talking like alien pieces we're talking just yeah. structures that somehow fit it's together just... to make a big dumb gun it's a gundam set they have to put together yeah. a gundam set but like, they lost the instructions <laughs> <laughs> and it's already taken out so it's just the pieces yeah <laughs> it's, it's cut off the runners and they're just like i don't i don't know man it's in a bag <laughs> what do i do with this so, so they're doing that and slapping it around while they're trying while they're running away from Zeron who's cornering them yep. and then EDF fucking Zoro's out of nowhere like legitimately on a line she's been locked out of the dead zone and I really don't know how they implied she got in but well, she gets she, in they fix the teleporter for a minute and she gets in for a second yeah, for like a they second fix it <laughs> because she gets in to go save them right and she's distracting this thing like her suit has malfunctioned at this point she's in her like jobber clothes she's in her tank top she's in her nothing like whatever street clothes and trying to fight this super alien and at one point she dives out like a third story window while throwing a grenade at it <laughs> and she just survives but then she like Yo. like you said she zoros up to the roof where they're hanging out trying to build this gun and then she's Somehow, like, move, dude. please. And like I said, palms <laughs> these humans out of the way to build the gun real quick while this uh -huh. skeleton creature is coming at them. <laughs> she gets one aim at it, and then it knocks the gun out of her hand. She yep. rolls to get it. They they manage, the, the guys manage to get it first, then pass it to her. And that's the clip I uploaded yep. where she finally blasts this thing point fucking blank. Yep. And, ooh, what a blast. <laughs> that is Yeah, that is no, nice. this is... um a really cool gun <laughs> vintage vintage 90s vintage CG. classic cg sci-fi gun yeah but it's like oh yeah that that must have hurt like a bitch yeah. <laughs> like this dude yeah. gets rocketed through a fucking window yeah. like, and you it's know dope. it's like i said it, it you know you're like oh yeah they finally beat its final form because it's in this crazy skeleton thing that came out of its husk no nope. and then the hat starts floating around <laughs> and, it becomes... and it's just the hat and she locks it into another one of these carbonite things and they're like oh cool problem solved so she sends the humans back with this carbonite thing like an idiot like L like, like an idiot like i would just nah bro like keep the carbonite with me we're good so the carbonite thing and the humans get sent back yeah and it turns into this fucking a horrid john carpenter Hor thing exactly fucking the thing. amalgamation yeah. that comes out so, of the back of the hat <laughs> you like you like your sci-fi we put your sci-fi inside of sci-fi we talk a lot about souls fucking games this is a bloodborne boss that comes out of the fucking you like hat. that 
<laughs> like that came out of this nowhere. This is the one dragon. <laughs> it is so yeah. It's a fleshy, nasty, disgusting thing that she ends up like with boobs. How many by the way, rounds? it has boobs. Oh yeah, why? I don't know. It has fucking boobs. But no, no, no. Hang on. We're missing a lot here before she starts unloading into this fucking thing. I was going to say. Because the zone, like I said, has a time limit. Oh my god. The zone, the the, the fake Karakura town that they've been fighting in has a time limit. And it's collapsing around Iria because the hat took out the power cord to the teleporter. And so these two idiots being electric dude idiots. electric you know <laughs> company guys electric are idiots. trying to yeah, refidget everything together and bob's like hey and I, this is the exact tone that he uses hey can you uh plug that thing back in and get area back here that'd be great that'd be great thanks <laughs> he's literally the boss oh, from office space oh and God. it's amazing yeah, we, we skipped we skipped the one line but he she drops the line there he goes they they survived remarkable like, yeah. because <laughs> at one point he was like maybe we'll just use them as a distraction and fucking you know we can catch zayram and get our money and before we're sued and lose our bounty hunter license the dude's like just sacrifice the fucking humans Iria, He's like, just, just sacrifice the them they're useless what are you doing? why are you so worried about them they're just in the way like please <laughs> they and are then- literal cannon fodder we're not even supposed to be here please just kill them it was legit that deadpan they survived Remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> Remarkable. <I love> it. <laughs> Ken with the bits. Anyway. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Sec- yeah, the uh so this this John Carpenter fucking monstrosity comes out of this thing while they're trying to fumble so, yeah. it around and it's it's dragging the hat by the way it's dragging the fucking hat behind it and it gets caught <laughs> on like a chair <laughs> literally it gets caught in like a chair and that's why it can't like get there so they put a bunch of like random bullshit on top of it <laughs> you're still muted by the way they put a bunch of random bullshit on top of it and they're like hold it the fuck down and then it like slaps the fucking power converter out of its slot again so it breaks the teleporter one more time yes yes so they can't get area there and literally like i said the the zone is collapsing around her and she's in this like cg green screen room at this point just kind of standing there <laughs> and the zone is collapsing and i was like she i mean she's gonna make it out like anyone with half a brain yeah, knows she's just gonna a make it out. yeah like there's no yeah. tension here i know she's gonna get out and so, like, Tepe is trying to hold this fucking disgusting monster oh down God, while it's, like, Tepe, snaking Tepe. its fucking gross face penis thing around and, like, trying to it's, snap at him. He's like, it's so strong. It's so strong. <laughs> My man Camille is like, it's cool, dude. Just hold it over there. You're fine. I have an idea. All right. How did Kamiya do this shit? Because this next thing that Kamiya does is bananas. My man, he sees the problem. He says, oh, that's your problem here. Your fucking high voltage electrical wire is severed in half. Yeah. Whatever shall we do? Oh, I get it. He hot wired. I will just be the conduit for this obviously extreme voltage. I thought he was going to fucking die. This is like the third time in the movie I thought Kamiya was going to die. This dude is fucking sitting there getting roasted. Roasted. Going, ah, E, O, ah, ah. Oh, like, holding what? it together. Literally hold it. He doesn't even like twist it. So they showed him hotwire a car earlier in the movie because he's an yeah. electronics dude. And he was like, you know, Tepe's like, oh, how'd you learn how to do this? He's like, yeah, hey, you know, I got the electronics. Blah, blah, blah. Chekhov's gun, man. Chekhov's yeah. gun. They and so, like, he, but instead of hotwiring this fucking, he's just like holding the two ends together and it's like, it's science. It's fucking working, okay? It's science. <laughs> Enough power to generate a a, t- a warp between the yeah. fake car core town to reality to get so, yeah, back there. Yeah, so mind you they show that she gets back she this, this whole sequence plays out where she's mm-hmm. like i'm done you know what i mean she's yeah. like enough she literally she gets her blaster for like five minutes and it's in slow motion and she just walks up and just like side gats this shit and, and just unloads <laughs> in zero like imagine that dying sequence with that guy that ah Imagine if he was getting shot the entire time, like repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Like, she blast just after unloads blast. Unloads in this fucking thing. And the thing, like, eventually it starts to, like, eviscerate itself and then blow apart. And then finally she gets the last shot and it's dead. Yeah. So to say. So, so, so to, to say. say. Yeah. It's, it's fucking dead. And then she captures it again because yeah. she puts it in the carbonite and she's like, oh. We got our bounty. We Gucci. We got it. We got it now, Bob. It's over. Yeah. Now we can go home. Now, mind you, Tepe's on the ground like half dead because he's got he just got like beat the hell up from the. <laughs> he just got bit by thing. the weird flesh mouth <laughs> penis thing. And this 
and this whole time I'm waiting to see Kamiya's body there. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, he's done. Like there's yeah. no way he survived that nope. shit. And what happens? They pull back and he's like <laughs> crazy, right? <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> One step below like smoking a cigarette, like he fucking enjoyed it. Like he's straight up like was that good for you? <laughs> It was great for me. <laughs> like this guy's immortal. He is immortal, and, and he's a god. Cause holy shit, there's no way he survived that fucking. Thing. Yeah. But sure as shit, he did. Like I can't, I can't tell you. Like I was, I was like, no. But okay, I feel better about it. Fuck it. And then they do the the most 90s of 90s endings with those freeze frame picture photo things. Yes, <laughs> they literally <laughs> take a photo because. Like, Bob is like, we need evidence for the hearing because he's, <laughs> he's like, we're fucked. You know that, right? You broke so many regulations. I told you not to use the gun. I told you to get them out of here. Yeah. They're not supposed yeah. to know. And he was like, we need evidence. Let's take a picture. <laughs> yeah, legit. And he's just like, all right, freeze. And they're all smiles. And then the, the thing's ending. And then it, it was... yeah, this, the credits roll up. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. And then they play that horrible theme music song that's just grating to hear. Oh yeah. my god, this this music. If anything, I love the movie, but the music that they chose is so poor. Yeah. It's so choppy nineties like slash bad slasher. Bad slasher movie. Like anyway. But the the music didn't fit the vibe of the of the sci fi shit. Like, yeah. I wish they would have used like legit seventies, sixty or seventies, eighties synth sync music, synth music. Mm -hmm. That shit would have knocked it out of the park but this was like 90s synth music if anyone knows there's a very distinct difference between yes. the 80s and 90s like it was a very different era at that point um and this is like yeah. weird kind of terrible sci-fi movie synth um because i'm sure this had the budget of a terrible sci-fi movie to be honest oh i'm sure it did yeah. sure it did yeah um yeah, Zayram is fucking wild. <laughs> this movie is so fucking all I can wild. Say, all right, so yeah, l l I'll wrap up. Like, basically, I I didn't know what to expect. I'm I'm pissed that you held out on me, you bastard. But I'm <laughs> I, I, have have to. I had no idea what this movie was gonna be. To be honest with you, I we absolutely have to see the sequel. We have to see the prequel. This mm -hmm. has become an obsession because the shit was great for as campy and super '90s as it is. Like, I don't know if Keita Amamiya directs the sequel. Uh, well, I hope see. he does. I do too. Let's see. Uh, let's see, I did some research. Let's yeah, see. Kate does direct it. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, this movie's fucking crazy. It's also on YouTube, by the way. If you guys want to watch it, you can watch. You yeah. can watch the dub on YouTube. If you guys want to go watch it, don't leave now. For the love of God, don't go now. But no, it is on YouTube. If, after the show, if you want to go watch it, you can watch Zedom. Um. That's I don't I don't know what what to say. <laughs> There's not much you can say. This movie is an experience. That's pretty much it. So that's yeah. all we can pinpoint. Until um, we see the sequel, I hope they don't like because if it, you're telling me that the anime is a prequel, the anime came out last, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Because the sequel is ninety four. Sequel is ninety four. I think this was like ninety six. Okay. Oh, prime nineties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Prime nineties like animation. Copyright date here. Mm, I can't see anything right Ooh. now. <laughs> but then it's fair game. Yeah. But yeah, it's prime nineties. Um Yeah, no, this this is kind of wild. Um I want to talk about her suit for a second because it kinda like was unclear what the fuck that suit does other than just like make her cooler. <laughs> and then power she had suit, that no? really terrible helmet that I did some other thing. Power suit. I think that's what it is. Oh God, the the snow goggles that she <laughs> yeah. had for like a second. So yeah, she does she, had... she does a henchin, by the way. Like if you guys are wondering how's this fucking token, she does a goddamn henchin. She does a pose and everything. Um, I don't what know if you have a clip of that, but she yeah, does a full on pose and henchin. And there's the face just for you guys. Just above the uh, vein. Lord Kobe's saying the anime was in '94 as well, so maybe they came out the, the sequel and the anime came out the same year, close to it. So makes sense. I mean, if he um, wasn't going to do the third one, yeah, yeah just, just, just above for you guys, the there's very face one more time. Yeah, the very phallic Zeron that put the clip just above in the chat. Yeah, the, the I have no other options. So yeah, that's her henshin sequence, and it's dope, man. She's like Bob, I'm putting on the suit. He's yeah. like, don't. <laughs> She's just like, okay. <laughs> I love yeah. Bob. Bob is the best. Bob is it's fantastic. Uh, is he in the? Is he in? I hope he's like in the. Whole yeah, thing. no, he. That's like her. Her sidekick. That's their okay. thing. Um, cool. Thank you for the follow pre work. Appreciate you. 
Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Zayram is whoopsie Zayram <laughs> and Iria specifically. Um, you know, the whole cast. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I know the anime. So in the movie. And I'm just, I'm, I haven't watched the anime. I want to pre preface this. I haven't watched the anime right. yet. Um, okay. But supposedly, the anime kind of retcons a few things, um, just it being okay. a prequel. So in this movie, she has no idea who Zayram is or what Zayram is. She just knows it's a bounty. It's some kind of biological weapon of some sort. And she just knows it has a high price. She meets Zayram in the anime um, oh. at some point. So they kind of retcon that a little bit, which kind of, you know, conflicts with the two. But other than that, like she, she's like, yeah, no, I want to see like more adventures of Iria. Like I'm totally down if they reboot this to do like, they could literally do like a Mandalorian type show, like where every episode is like its own little like pocket story where she's going off yeah. to her bounty, things like that. Um, I think that would be really cool, honestly. I mean, especially her look in the sequel, like dude, they throw. They she throw got the right braid in there and everything, like little beads wow. and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that gem. Well, it's Keita Amomiya killed it with the. Yeah, I mean these monster designs. Oop, oh oh man. god. Oh god. Oh god. No. Is that what he looks like in the sequel? Who's there? Huh. Yeah, he looks like a Kitsune monster. Uh, I don't know honestly. I know he shows up at some point. <laughs> That's all I know. But yeah, this is her design. She's got like a white streak in her hair and stuff like that. Um, because it does take place a little bit of time afterwards. But yeah, no, we'll definitely have to check it out. Um, Absolutely. Had oh, yeah. a lot of fun with this fucking movie and I really want, like I said I've owned all three pieces of it for almost a year now and I have yet to watch any of it till right now so oh, I go yeah I'm down to watch more Zayram and you know like you like I said uh, we are huge fans of Keita Amamiya he has a whole aesthetic that I am here for with anything that he fucking does so I am down to watch anything that that man produces I just kind of get stuck in watching in awe and horror. I'm like, how? Yeah, did this that's kind of what this? I love about it. Like everything, it's kind of like, uh, like it's the same thing I get with like John Carpenter movies, right? Especially The Thing. That's why I love The Thing so much. It's very, um, what the fuck am I looking at? And I'm so intrigued by what I'm looking at that I'm disgusted at the same time. And Kate Amamiya just like has that on top of just like really badass designs. Um, on like he'll do things like you know Iria's armor or he you know if you guys didn't know Kate Amami also created Garo which is one of the you yeah, know the staple series. What, I was gonna tie into that for the next question I had for yeah. you. Yeah. So it's it's implied that you know Amami is more of mature things is the whole basis yeah. for Garo being <clears throat> as dark as it is. Yeah. But they reuse things like I guess he has a ring that talks to him like Bob. Yes. So Zaduba is the um kind of the sidekick so i think he kind of has a uh i don't want to say a structure but he has like i guess it would be a structure to his characters when it comes to this kind of stuff like toku things um right yeah. so there's zaruba who is very similar to bob now that you mentioned it actually um zaruba is very like straight laced very much like hey we got to follow the rules kota uh don't just murder please you got to think about the consequences <laughs> a little bit um, okay. And Kota's like, yeah, but I, I want to murder the fucking monster, please. Thank but you. But I murdered a monster. That's my job. I, my job. My, my job, job is literally murder the monster. Please let me murder the monster. And Zaruba's like, maybe uh, take two seconds and think about okay. it. Um, and it's Zaruba cool. even has a moment where he's like, hey, the girl's kind of useless. She's just weighing you down. Maybe you shouldn't. And he's like, nah, I got to save her. So they are very similar now that you mentioned it, which is kind of cool. Um, nice. And you can kind of see how that was like the, the, the blueprint that he followed for Garo. Um, that's really cool. Now that you mentioned it, I didn't even think about that. That's that's fucking not, radical. Yeah, it, it's like the the counter opposite because it's not sci fi. It's very you know dark fantasy. So yeah, I think that, yeah. Like, but they both take place in like high. a you know there's like a pseudo world in Earth kind of thing. You know, one's more like True. a magical realm, while the other one's a you know a fake sci fi world. Um, you have you this kind of like bounty hero. hunter type character that's yeah. also like a, a you know you got a knight type dude who also just kind of collects bounties. Like he's assigned missions. He's got to go collect. Um, very similar. Very cool. That's fucking cool. Because Garo's amazing. I don't know if you guys knew that. I mean, Garo's yeah. fucking cool. I, by the way, if you had, if you didn't know, Garo's if you didn't know, <laughs> just to Garo's say, Garo's great. <laughs> <laughs> if, um, have we mentioned? <laughs> have, have we do you know about our Lord and Savior Garo? Um, <laughs> Garo is ho, ho, Ichigo. Anyway, Ichigo. 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 No, but uh, Garo. Um, Kota. Yeah, absolutely. I'm. I'm. I kind of see that we have a, a more of a leniency towards the dark fantasy stuff and the dark yeah. Amamiya tile. So, if you guys know anything like this, mm -hmm. send more stuff like this our way too. 
Yeah. Because we're always up for new stuff. But yep. if we could always go back to our bread and butter, that's yep. always nice. Maybe we'll watch Zayrom 2 and or you'll watch Zayrom 2 and then tell me how much fucking better it is than the first one for like 10 years. Yeah. And then I won't no. watch Zayrom 2. And then when we I finally do, do I'll be like, damn, yeah. was that better than the first one? And it, then I'll fucking it, stomp my feet and, and, and I'll and say I, no. I'll, and I'll eat, I'll eat that every night to help myself I'll go to sleep. I'll stomp my feet and go, no, life. the first one's way it. better. I love it. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, he's referring to a little gem that I dropped on him called a Dark Hero, Kyber yeah. 2. Yeah. Uh, fought me for years, years about the superiority of it. So fought for years, guys. That the first one and was better, by the way. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. So I let him believe it, and I waited, and I waited, and then finally, I yeah. think a year ago, he finally about a year, watched yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And mm, it still tastes good. Mm. Uh, it still yeah. tastes no, the first so one's still better, though, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> Lies. Lies and slander. Nope. It's still better. It's fine. I'll die on that fucking hill. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, so I, I I know we're gonna check out the sequel. Probably not next week, but if we do, we'll let you guys know. Yeah. Uh, but it's this is something that's right up our shit here. So more of this. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I'm I'm definitely down for more of this. I want to watch the anime too. I'm curious how the anime goes. Um, have we done an anime? Have we have we covered an anime? Yeah, we've covered anime. Oh, like, movie, like our second episode was sure. the Voltron Legendary Defender. <laughs> but that's like that's okay. That was the, the newer one. Yeah, caught us. But that's like caught us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. We did. We've done anime take before. I, I think we did. Right. Did we do Garo Vanishing so Line? Much. I don't remember if we actually did that or not. I watched that, but I don't know if I remember if we actually did. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, sounds like maybe. something we should do. Yeah, it sounds like something we should do. Garo's fucking. Sounds radical. like maybe we're gonna just you know nosedive into Amamiya for a little. Yeah, bit maybe I'll just do something a, else. Maybe this is an Amamiya <laughs> podcast now. Amamiya <laughs> <laughs> Don. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Amamiya? Amamiya Don. This is spicy Amamiya. <laughs> this is spicy Amamiya. Yep. <laughs> this week on Amamiya Don. I mean, it's all right. So, to tie into the next topic here, I wanted to give a shout out to a particular hero spotlight. Okay. Because of this movie. Okay. Now, it helped me understand because we did get the dub and i was assuming that the dub was like a total opposite story you know what i mean i thought Mm -hmm. we're getting something that's completely not the case whatever so i was trying to see if there was another guy who reviewed it and it turns out there is that came out four years ago so i don't know if this person's still active um maybe they are um i can actually check right now see how frequent their uploads are yeah Yeah, a month ago okay so yeah about a month ago so this guy is zetai japan okay with an, ex- with an exclamation point. Um, and very important. <laughs> um, so I'm going to drop it in the Discord. But this video, he reviewed this this movie here. And he gave a lot of the background stuff that, you know, is kind of like the stuff we really dig into. Um, but he does a couple other, we'll call them under-the-radar shows and okay. movies that have come out in toku theme. And he calls them Asian oddities. Mm-hmm. So... I definitely think we can pull some ideas from some of this yeah. stuff that he's covered. Uh, but definitely, uh, I don't know, he's got a couple thousand followers, but definitely check this guy out because yeah. his insight, actually, uh, one of the things that uh, we didn't talk about was the suit actor for Zayram himself became the suit actor for Godzilla. Oh, um, that's what's up. Movies. Yeah, Matsuhiro something, something. I forget yeah, the so the name sounds familiar. Um, let me just pull up the screen here. For, so this is Zetai Japan. Um, I'm sure there's Toku stuff in here. It's not specifically a Toku channel. If you guys want to check it out, it's kind of just a uh, right, Asian yeah. cinema channel. Um, oh, we got Tetsu with the Iron Man. Okay. Hello. Yeah. That movie's yeah, fucking yeah. wild if no one's ever seen that movie. That movie's crazy. Can we, safe, can we safely cover that one? I don't no. Know. No. I don't think we that can. That is not no. Toku. It's just fucking weird. <laughs> um, yeah. Perfect Toku. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, we've stretched, to be fair, we've probably stretched the term Toku to a uh, much less qualified things <laughs> which is why i always say technically it's technically toku. It's technically toku that was a, another series toku. we tried and died <laughs> um but that's a <laughs> that's a whole other conversation um that's what we do here man it's what we, we fucking do but yeah zetai japan you guys should check it out um it looks like yeah just a whole bunch of like anime manga asian cinema yeah. um that kind of thing oh there's a tomi thing in here if you guys are into jinji ito Ooh, oh jinro gaunt zero okay let me talk to you about jin ro let me tell you how jin ro inspired this whole fucking idea for a unit oh my god i i loved jin ro so much really? that i was like 
I want a tactical unit that just goes in when you need something dead. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. legit, that's all they do. And then I found out that Warhammer is all of that. Yeah. So, like, every if, if faction you want Warhammer, is that. you want the fucking, uh, the fucking, um, what the fuck are they? Uh, not the Black Templars. You just can't pick. That's the point. Death you watch. just can't pick. Death watch. You could just name any of them, and they fit that bill. Like, yeah. <laughs> You need something dead? How fast? Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the speed and what it is, is the is the fucking chapter you pick. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Is it an right, alien? I, I got you one. pick these guys. No, no. Here. Okay. Here, let me pitch to you here. Okay. Are, are we gonna play like what chapter? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot a Toku theme obstacle. Okay. You tell me what Warhammer you What throw fucking okay? Warhammer Space Marine chapter is gonna yeah. take it out. Right. Okay. Ready? Okay. So we're I'm going kaiju here. Okay. Okay. Let's start easy. Mm -hmm. Kaiju, Biolanti. Biolanti. I mean, if it's a kaiju in general, because it's big things, there's going to be um, some sieging happening, and the Imperial okay. Fists are the siegers of the Imperium. So they Imperial specialize in siege fists. combat. The Imperial that Fists. That sounds... Yeah. I, re I think these are the gold armor dudes? Yeah, Is they're like a they yellowish armor. Okay, okay. Yeah. Imperial. Iron Hands okay. are their, uh, their uh, Traitor Legion equivalent. The Iron Hands are the ones that were always jealous of them because they would get all the credit for basically the Iron Hands work. So, Siege Warfare, oh, like, it, you know, if it's a big problem, you're going to siege the fuck out of it. <laughs> so Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, so I'll wind, I'll wind it down then. Okay, all right. Zayram. Zayram? Uh, yeah, you're probably going to get the Death Watch. <laughs> Death Watch? Yeah. That's, that's a fucking alien. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to get the specialized unit that, like, cherry picks pieces. So, Death Watch, if you guys don't know, is essentially um, the fucking... Uh, uh, the crows from Game of Thrones, like they're just cherry picked from everywhere, and they oh. they are either banished there or you know do their time there to, for notoriety. Um, you know, there's many different reasons why they go to the Death Watch, but they are a specialized Xenos, which is the aliens extermination squad. <laughs> if you got alien problems, Shit. you call the Death Watch. Got so, it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Done deal. All yeah. right. So that's that. Oh God. All right. Yep. Who who do you send? Who do you send against Oma? Oma Oma Zio? Yeah. Um, you send the fucking Primarchs. That's who you send. The, the Primarchs. Oma, the, the, you know the, you know who you send? You send the fucking Chaos Primarchs because they can't be swayed because their fucking timeline doesn't matter because they live most of their life in the Immaterium. And if you don't know what any sounds, of that means, I don't blame it, you. All of that that you just said was like, what? <laughs> Why? What is? I that? guarantee of the people watching, three quarters of them just went. <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> like just static. The second I started saying words, so they, they all right. So you send them to beat Oma or stand a chance? Oh no, no, they'll they'll beat the fuck out of Oma. <laughs> no, they'll beat the fuck out of him. They'll walk in and Magnus will like twitch his eyeball and Oma will explode. So okay, yeah. Magnus alone. Magnus could could solo. Magnus, he's the strongest Oma. psyker next to the emperor. He can fucking, it. Eh, you're dead. <laughs> but he's got a okay. heart of gold, right? Magnus did nothing That's, wrong. It's fine. <laughs> Ask me about Fair that story enough. afterwards. <laughs> yeah. oh, see, that's the whole thing. Is like I do, and then it's like a forty-five page yeah. book, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I can do this. <laughs> the, the, the problem with Warhammer is I mention one thing, and then you go, "What's that?" And I'm like, <laughs> I pull out my fucking and textbook, and it's like, and which does, one do you want to know about? <laughs> and I take a second, and I'm like, okay, I can process that thought, but here's here's the truth about my limitation. My creativity is very grounded, and every time I learn about a new faction in Warhammer, it just it's it's so mind bending how mm -hmm. broken these things can coexist. Mm -hmm. I think I was asking you, I was like, is there a one above all that keeps these fuckers from basically annihilating each nope. other? And you're basically like, no, they just don't. <laughs> like, the, the, they don't stop. Is the, the reason one doesn't stand above the other is because they're all busy annihilating each other. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, they just can't because they're yeah. constantly offing one another. If you like... ask people, the two that are probably going to make it happen are either the orcs because they're a fucking literal shroom poison god damn plague on the land they're they're oh, made shit. of mushrooms by the way um oh and oh, the tyranids which are a outer galaxy threat that can do uh what they call the shadow in the warp which is essentially all of their tech and all their psychic abilities and everything just shut down when a horde is coming near them and it's a literal figurative shadow that like psychers see coming and because these things are so like they're, they're literally Zayrom. Imagine an army of fucking Zayroms. That's what these things are. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm chopped yeah, on. I'm that's what you deal with. That's what you're fucking dealing with. 
Fuck that. No. See, I'm over here trying to have a good time, and you're horrifying the shit. Yeah. <laughs> and Alex is mentioning that the Cavill is trying to start a movie. It is a series, and that deal went through, so he will be starring and executive producing a Warhammer series on Amazon. Uh, Which Games Workshop hope- officially announced that that deal went through. And I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I hope he has an iron fist on that, man. I hope beyond anything that he An just, iron hand, if you will. An iron hand, if I would. If yes, you I will. If you will. If I will. <laughs> but yeah, like legit. Like, because come on, you had the Witcher and because he didn't have any kind of control, they fucked it up. So yep. and he got pissed about it. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are like, you know, oh, but it's because he went back to Superman. And I'm sure that had a factor, but I don't think sure, that really was sure, the reason, but you know. But even even those dickheads, like yeah. okay, I, let me take that back. Their decision is understandable. I get it, but you should have put, you should have made one more movie to send them off with some grace. You know what I mean? My like, thing is, imagine I got into Common Rider, right? And you're like, fuck you. Yeah. Imagine I mean, that. <laughs> imagine, I, imagine I got into Common Rider, right? And I like I hench in a Common Rider, and then when I hench in, <laughs> I have this cool moment where like. I actually get to wear the suit on set because I'm not doing a whole lot of things. And they go, oh, by the way, this is a Zio sequel. And I just fucking. Oh. <laughs> they, they hand you the belt. It goes, Jiku drive out. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. It's common Rider. It's common Rider. It's common Rider. It's common Rider. <laughs> and I spend the next could... eight weeks just sighing into the air every time I have to every go on the shot, set. Every shot, you're dripping vomit from the visor. <laughs> just seeping out of the just helmet. The <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we would still do it, though. Fuck it. I'd still fucking still do, do it. it. I'd still, I'd still be pissed, but I'd still fucking do it. And you know what? Like, I'm, I'm glad that he fucking got a chance to do that show, because I'm sure he doesn't regret a minute of it. He just kind of was probably fed up with their bullshit. Legit. And it's it sucks because we we got something out of it and now we're getting something else. Completely, yeah, we're getting uh, uh, fucking Liam Hemsworth now. <laughs> it's, okay, all right, fine, whatever. After season four, sure. or after season three, that's when Cavill's out, and it's literally the same character. It's the same fucking. It's Geralt. It's just it's Liam Hemsworth now. That's They're a pulling a Spartacus. Idea. Only you know this guy didn't. You know Cavill didn't die. They're just switching actors. <laughs> they just fucking killed him off. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. You know gross it is what it is sorry fans the issue is they don't have salt yeah it's true and everyone wants to you and then no one puts in the fucking work so they just want to go straight to the avengers and and then everyone goes what the fuck am i looking at (laughs) not only do you not get bad acting but you get characters we don't care about so it's like even if they gave us a good performance one of the rare ones because i don't even see how you got one out of gal gadot i don't see how you got anything out of ezra miller's psychotic ass like come on like (laughs) i forgot he was was even a thing honestly because he's fucking insane exactly even the even the forgive me for forgetting his name but the actor the one legitimate actor that I respect is the one who played Cyborg, and he didn't get a, a cut of anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they that him turned into a whole fucking role. thing. So, yeah. so like his even hit when they the the Snyderverse one, that one they they gave him a little bit more, and I wanted that. Give me that story because yep. he could carry that story. But no, no, you no. get you get five minutes of Superman. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Great. And it, his dumb CG'd face because he had a mustache because he was doing Mission Impossible at the time. <laughs> Three minutes of that was him screaming in slow mo. Oh my yep. god! <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what happens with that. As as you guys can tell, I'm a huge fan of Warhammer. I love the lore of that fucking thing. I literally have a little. You can't see it because the mouse is in the way. But right here is a little fucking desk, kind of right there above the mouse's head, um, where I just sit there and fucking paint models. So. I, I love Warhammer. I'm excited to see where this goes. And if it's Toku enough, maybe we'll take a look at an episode or two or something. Um, so speculation, who do you cast Cavill as? Uh, I was actually talking about that with my uh, my one buddy who's really who got me back into Warhammer, actually. Um, I was talking about it, there is a Primarch named Roboot Gilliman who essentially wakes up after a big event that happens in the universe where essentially the <clears throat> humankind is split in half by people that go to the chaos. Gods become like evil space marines. And then, like, the ones who stay with the Emperor Jesus type character. Um, right. It's very religious. The humankind is a bunch of assholes, and they're all very religious. Um, and he literally wakes up. Say. He literally <laughs> wakes up and goes, yo, 
this was never religious. Why did you make a fucking cult out of mankind? Oh, wow. So he kind of okay. creates his secondary little pocket. He also thought the fucking world ended. Like, Earth is its main hub for humankind, obviously. That's and he thought the Earth was fucking taken over during this thing because he got oh. knocked out. Um, so they bring his ass back, and he's like, yo, uh, my pops never wanted the... He's, he's a son of the Jesus-type character. He's like, my oh. pops never wanted this. All the Primarchs are. All the Primarchs are, like, descendants. They're, they're sons, big air quotes. They're, you know, lab lab sons gotcha. of the Emperor. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so he goes, my dad never wanted this fucking religious cult shit. What do you guys do it? And then he goes and sees his dad on the throne, and he's basically a comatose vegetable skeleton thing, and he may or may not have killed him. We don't know. Um, I've, I've got to see that. But yeah, I think it'd be cool to see him as that, because he's very, like, Captain America- like yes sir but uh he kind of wakes up in a world that's not that so it's cool to see it would be cool to see like if captain america woke up in fucking like thanos snap time if he just like that's that's when he woke up out of world war one right like everything's captain fucking america. gone got you if captain yeah. america went rogue gotcha yeah wow. like but he's still trying to like reform the world back to the america he knew <laughs> So it'd be interesting. It'd, it'd be interesting. Um, other than that, you know, there's a million billion stories in Warhammer because it's 30 years of fucking lore at this point. Um, they could choose, you know, individual characters. They could even do like a Space Marines thing, like the new games coming out. Uh, they could follow that character. They could follow a million other characters. There's books and things like that. So there's mm. so many places they could go, and uh, I'm interested to see. Honestly. I hope they do because if if, if he's going to be at the head, of, nothing is better than leaving the IP with somebody who respects it and yeah. understands it. Yeah. That's the whole thing that we're that I think we're just trying to get at here is the fact that he's going to be in charge of it. He's a fan before all and I'm sure there are yeah. going to be some exceptions. We're not going to get perfection. No. But we're going to get yeah, as there's close. definitely going to be some, you know, uh meddling from a studio, that kind of thing. There yeah. always is. But, you know, this is the guy who during an interview for The Witcher fucking went, "Hey, those those fucking lights up there, they look a lot like this Warhammer thing. And I know none of you know what that is, but it looks like that. And I thought it was really cool. Really? Yeah. All right. I need, to, I need to see videos of him nerding out because that's just like... He nerds the fuck out for like five minutes. He's like, it looks like a Black Fortress. I know no one really here knows what a Black <laughs> Fortress is, but it's a Warhammer thing. And they're hey, fucking Carl, cool. What is a Black Fortress? So Black Fortress is a weapon <laughs> I have it on the connect. <laughs> <laughs> One day we gotta do that. I'll just set you off. Yep. We'll just, we're it. gonna hit keywords, and I'm just like, well, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a printout, and I'm just gonna be like, and then he's gonna who's go, this guy? And who's this guy? I'll, and you know what? We'll the crazy part is, the crazy part is, you could probably tie most of those back to each other in some bullshit. So, oh fuck. Yeah. See, that's that's what I like the most about it is that it's interconnected and it's all. Yeah. It all stems yeah. and it can all be drawn. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, let me tell you about the. uh was it 16 oh, yeah. Primarchs and two of them are missing because there's two chapters that were just erased from the annals of history? <laughs> because that's For what reasons. happens. Don't ask that's questions. <laughs> Dad said don't ask. <laughs> don't ask again. That's or the crazy. disgusting loophole of we're not allowed to have AI, so we're just going to put people's souls in these fucking machines. <laughs> nice. Warhammer's see, fucking wild. Wait till you guys see, see this series. It's insane. I when you start talking about souls in machines bro like i'm good praise I'm the omnisaya you know omnisaya don't that's a thing that's a thing okay too. No, no no we'll get there we'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> so uh other than that i think we can end the zayram discussion there yeah um yeah that's pretty much zayram is possessed by the machine spirit praise the omnisaya <laughs> <laughs> okay. stop this guy see when we, this is why this is why we have to do it in bursts because i have to stop you okay uh other than that, what's in the news, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> other than I'm seeing a lot of people use this AI art bullshit to like fan redo characters, um, it looks like the vision driver for the new uh, Glare, the newest premiered Common Rider, is going to be up for pre order from our favorite place. Can you guess where? Um, Premium Bandai for the win? Premium fucking Bandai for the win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can pre-order that on Overlords. premium Bandai. it has a full lcd screen on it which is kind of cool it's a full lcd touch screen and it's got all the the kit and caboodle notches and things um yeah that's that's pretty cool it's pretty cool i like that design a lot for a rider i don't know if i like the belt that much but i like that design for a rider a lot um, is it does it really it feels a very out of place in the show now that i've seen it no it, it feels, feels very like, uh back issue or you know back door to their game that's why it kind of fits no like yeah, yeah. no either either it's 
Either you'll see it going that direction. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I think that they're going to go going that to. direction. Yeah. Okay. The super sci-fi because like the last couple times we had um i mean the last ones were kind of like techy but it wasn't really tech you know what i mean and then we had saber before that um and then yeah this is the fourth ray war rider you know it's, it's been a few seasons since we had like pure tech i think we're kind of going that route um yeah just by the nature of the game and things like that so i think um like we even saw the the cannon in the jet mode like that's a very gundam looking style um i love it it looks like fucking it so gundam it's so cool <laughs> And uh, I can't even, I'm not even lying. <laughs> it, they continue the narrative of Common Rider Gaunt's, not Geats. So the next yep. couple episodes are uh, very really? much a Gaunt's plot as well, where they go after the main character. They're going to have to hunt down Geats as their final, like, hey, Yay. we're pissed off. Go hunt him now. <laughs> so it's literally right, a Gaunt's plot line, by the way. Yeah, we got to catch up because we got to do a recap yeah. at some point. What, what are they on? 15? 15, I think, yeah. That's, that's 15 is the newest episode yeah we'll have to maybe we'll do that next week um yeah. we'll do a kind of fill anyone in who maybe hasn't been watching geats or you know you should be watching geats you should be I watching mean, geats. Saying, geats is fucking great you should be watching geats yeah. fucking, um, my boy uh, buffa go, i'm sorry <laughs> you know um yeah, right. and i think i talked about it last time uh last last week but they did announce a common rider ryuki blu-ray that is coming out they also announced um Yes, yes, we did talk about it because we talked about the Decker Ranger versus SPD yeah. fucking video files. So, <laughs> Common Rider Ryuki Blu-ray yeah. is up for pre-order. So, hell yeah. Um, and also, it's official that Shin Ultraman is coming to theaters in the U.S. Fuck yeah. I think it's yeah, in January. Um, we're going to get a couple days where you can go see it. I think it's a Fathom event type thing. So, you guys can check your local theaters, see when that's coming out. Um, I'm fucking excited to see this movie. I, we got to find a way. Movie. Yeah. we're gonna find a way we'll, that's we'll figure it out not a question we'll figure it yeah. out um and then cool. yeah i think that's really it there's a new regalos thing happening the the ultraman regalos the cool dude the beast oh, the beast of the yeah, cosmic yeah. fist or whatever it is um the, the, the martial arts one the dope one the yeah, martial arts dude, that. yeah his uh his solo series is starting soon i believe we gotta check out that movie whenever it drops i think it's still in pieces right now but whenever it drops we'll, we'll follow the next uh, ultra galaxy fight because that was wild <laughs> imagine got, imagine wrestlemania for ultraman and if you guys want to know more you can go check out the episode that was ultra galaxy fight uh i think i want to say it was like 10 episodes ago now or so a little bit more um something like that we checked out essentially it's wrestlemania ultraman and it's really fucking cool <laughs> so the Jonius. next one Jonius, yeah Jonius, just Jonius. saying <laughs> go in there and expecting awesomeness from Jonius. it's so good <laughs> so um yeah i i excited to see what happens with regulos because it's my favorite ultraman concept in a long time um so we'll say zet was the last one i watched and i loved fucking zet so uh you know triggers fine and then what's the new one decker i think we watched like an episode and i was like yep that's ultraman <laughs> mm -hmm. so um yeah, yeah i haven't i haven't really yeah. watched i i watched 16 episodes of trigger i believe and i that's when i tapped out that's um, not bad though I mean, no i got most of the way through it i think he got his final form pretty sure um at 16 really no. yeah they get him pretty shit. fast but uh he didn't get trigger dark trigger dark hadn't shown up yet um oh. but you know is what it is they uh the the only thing with some of the ultraman series is they get their power up so quickly it kind of just doesn't give you time to like you know process it and I accept mean, it and then like the you're you're burned out on power-ups and you're kind of in for the ride for 10 episodes till they get something else you know what i mean um they're not paced out that always does that not sound like Common Rider? Well, Common no. Rider has the problem of, you know, every other episode they introduce one and it's like, oh my God, another one, Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're only going to so, use it once. Ultra, and then yeah, you Ultraman can buy is like, it. here's your four forms. You're stuck with them. That's Hope it. you like them. <laughs> bye bye. See you on episode 20. <laughs> Remember that power up that you used in episode seven? No. Again? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know, Common Rider is very much like, hey, here's another one. Yeah. You know when we're going to use it again? Never. Fuck buy never. the fucking toy. In the movie, and it'll be a repaint in another form, and then yeah. you can buy that one. Yeah, <laughs> and then it'll be released with the Blu-ray, and then you buy that, and then, uh, you know, two episodes after that, we'll use it again, and then he'll run on the CG Rainbow Bridge, and he'll get the the, the movie form again. Do you guys remember the yeah. movie form? Did you see the movie? Look at the Rainbow Bridge. The, Just the final mix form? Yeah. You like that one? Did you, did you did like you, the final did mix? Did you like the emotional dragon? Here it is again. Here He has three oh. dragons, guys. Look at this. I fucking love Saber, by the way. I just, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. 
I am sorry that that happened to your favorite form. I am sorry. <gasps> Why did his superhero Senki was not that good? It was not good enough to cannibalize that fucking best form he gets. I'm just saying. It superhero was, Senki was fine. It was not good enough, though. It was not a fair trade. I'm it so never sorry. was going to be good enough. But now we have Jet, and I like Jet. So I'm, I'm going to keep Jet. Jet, Jet Cannon's pretty cool, I guess. The raised I, buckle's I, pretty I, sick, I suppose. I, 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 it's got a mini nice. vector cannon. Did you see uh, when KY used it? Mm-hmm. And I see, I see a clip in the coming episode where KY and our yeah, boys we using have it. Jet so, and yeah. Cannon fighting together. Oh, that's dope, oh, folks. Hello, right. hello. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. You should be watching Geats, by the way. You should be you should watching, watching Geats, by the way. Uh, and you should be watching more of our stuff. And if you want to go back and check out some of our stuff, where can they do that, bro? Uh, yeah, so you can follow uh, Tokudon on all major podcasting thingy majiggers. Um, it's on there, all the past episodes there. You can also go to Tokudon on YouTube and a lot of the video anyway. A lot of, I want to say all of it, but a lot of the videos we've been doing this for a long time now. <laughs> a <laughs> lot of the video is on there. Um, it has been so you guys can, yeah, it's been um, over three years now. Um, nah, man. No we, way. We, we old podcasty boys now. We are up there, man. Oh man. <laughs> well, it's been. It's it's it. Even that, if it's been that long, it doesn't even seem like it does. Like, it just yeah. it just goes by no. so fast. Um, but, but you can go to uh, Tokadon on YouTube. You can check out all the episodes. Uh, you can also check out obviously videos on demand here on twitchtv Carl. And if you're watching live, make sure you hit that follow button because we hang out here every Sunday and you don't want to miss it. And I also do other stuff during the week. Um, yeah. We usually end up talking about Toku no matter what we're fucking doing. So. Um, it's all technically Toku in the end of the day. It's all technically Toku, kind of like um, Guile in Street Fighter Six, but I'm not going to get on that rant right now. Um, oh, yeah. we'll set aside time for that because I need to know. I, I need a I minute. Need to to, that's why. That's what we'll open the fucking Warhammer episode. It'll be like so Street Fighter Six beta, and then that'll be the first. <laughs> and that's hour. just how we'll do it. And that's yeah. just it. That's and just then what we do. Warhammer will be the next four because I'll have to talk for a while, and then my throat will start to hurt. And then um, <laughs> that's the the big end of the year extravaganza we have for you guys. It's just going to be Warhammer <laughs> and Street Fighter, and me just. Just Dundee. talking. Dundee. Just talking. It. It. You're, the, like I said, all their brains are going <laughs> to... Bring a notebook. Bring patience, because he's going to reiterate a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have to mm-hmm. learn a lot of keywords. And then there's going to be a lot of... Wait, no. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> wait, wait. That reminds me. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's oh it called again? I oh, forgot. I forget its name. I forgot to mention the cannon of the, the Great Destruction. Yeah. <laughs> forgot. I forgot to mention the fucking cannon out of his butthole that kind of does that thing. And then one of the dudes has an actual kill counter installed in his fucking head. And that's not a joke. That is a very real thing in Warhammer. He has a fucking kill counter in his helmet. I'll take one of those too. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's amazing. That's that's your lore hammer fun fact. I just dropped a bunch of fucking lore and no one paid any channel points. For I'm for just free, saying. For free. I'm free, just saying, y'all got that for fucking it. free. At least hit the follow button for that. Come on. That's a good one. That's, That's a good one. That's a good one. And listen, if you guys want to check out anything of the other flavor, I do creepy stuff on my YouTube channel at Six Echoes. You can check that out. I drop a bunch of videos. I was going to drop them, but then my throat decided to betray me, so we're going to hold off for another week. Um, But anyway, check out my stuff if you want. I like spooky stuff, and send me your creepy spooky stuff as well. SixEchoes.se at gmail.com. Yeah. Other than that, catch me here doing this craziness yeah. talking about Zayron um, and Zayron yeah. 2 and speaking of Zayron, Zayron I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this back on the screen just for you guys one more time before we get out of here yeah. you can you can hold this face this I'm, I'm, go, I'm gonna munch on you mm, you guys gonna have a good night now go, y'all go, have a good night gonna go munch on you now <laughs> yeah. you guys you gonna see you see you in your dreams see you in your dreams in the dreams <laughs> y'all fuck this lady <laughs> see you guys have a good night guys <laughs>